The AR-15 and the AR-10 are often referred to as direct impingement firearms. However, this is not correct. Their operating system is actually a clever gas piston system. This misconception probably originates from the very long gas tube on the AR-15 system, which takes a gas port out here on the barrel and directs gas all the way back to the receiver. This gas tube ends just behind the chamber where it is mated up with the bolt carrier. Both the AR-10 and its smaller scale cousin, the AR-15, work exactly the same way. Namely, through a gas piston cleverly located inside the bolt carrier itself. The gas key directs gas from the gas tube down into an expansion chamber in the back of the bolt carrier. The bolt carrier itself acts as the rear of this chamber. The bolt head acts as the front with sealing rings and a pressure reduction void in front of them. When this is assembled together, it is in approximately this configuration. When this expansion chamber is filled with gas upon firing, it forces the two parts of the piston apart. Because the bolt head is locked into the trunnion at the rear of the barrel, the only part that can move is the bolt carrier. The bolt carrier subsequently moves backwards. The cam pin right there forces the bolt to rotate, which unlocks it, and that allows the entire bolt assembly to move backwards. Note that once the two parts have separated enough, the gas in this expansion chamber is vented through the two vent holes in the side of the bolt carrier. These vent holes also exist on the 308 caliber AR-10 bolt design. This is distinct from a true gas impingement design because in the AR, the gas is actually being pushed into a sealed expansion chamber. This system has often been criticized for leaving fouling in the working parts of the bolt. However, this is not strictly the case. When I remove the bolt head, you can see that the fouling is kept in the rear half of the bolt head and does not in significant quantity affect the actual locking surface and chamber area of the firearm. This fouling is the same type that one would have in any short or long stroke gas piston in the piston cylinder. It's simply in the AR-15 and AR-10 designs, that cylinder is located here, physically close to the, the working parts of the locking system. Just because they're physically close, however, does not mean that they are uh, functionally linked. The mechanically functional parts of the AR bolt carrier are all located up here in the front section. This rear tail on both the AR-10 and AR-15 exists simply to provide additional mass to the bolt carrier to help balance its cycling speed. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions about the AR-15 operating system. I'm Ian McCollum for Forgotten Weapons. Thanks for watching.